Coming up on this episode of Timberwolves Weekly, the men's soccer team hosted the second round of the NCAA tournament against rival Saginaw Valley State. The football team finished their season with a road game at Malone. Volleyball finished up their season with home matches against Northern Michigan and Michigan Tech. And the basketball programs got their seasons underway with road non-conference contests. Timberwolves Weekly starts right now. Hello, everyone. Welcome back for another episode of Timberwolves Weekly. I'm Travis McCurdy, your host, coming to you from the new athletic director office. Dave Marsh will be moving in here shortly. The men's soccer team continued their fantastic season last weekend by hosting the first and second round games in the NCAA tournament. The Timberwolves faced the winner of the Saginaw Valley Indianapolis match, which proved to be the Cardinals. So Northwood and SVSU matched up for the seventh time in the last two seasons for the right to go to the Sweet 16. Let's see how the Timberwolves did. It'll be Smith to put it back in from the corner. Northwood's fifth of the first half. Over the head, it's a goal! James DeCosmo, right place, right time, and the Timberwolves score again on a corner. They've done it. Delu in the area now. This is Wilson trying to turn. Shot, and a great save! Johannes Derobo with his best save of the day. A great looking strike there from Wilson and Starobo. Vaughn throws it to the area. Headed on. Smith with a shot a goal! Northwood responds moments after the goal by the Cardinals. Jack Smith buries it off the loose ball. What a strike. Running down the right side. Sends a cross in. Loose ball, and it is in the net! It's a goal! Adam Thomas just barely got enough contact on it, and it slid into the corner. Northwood now with that two-goal lead, and it's 3-1 now with 16-13 remaining in regulation. Great year for Northwood. They've accomplished so much. The latest accomplishment is their first-ever NCAA tournament victory today against their rival, Saginaw Valley State, and the Timberwolves advance to the round of 16. So Northwood advances to the Midwest Regional Final with a 3-1 victory over Saginaw Valley State. Jack Smith with a goal and an assist for Northwood. James DeCosmo with his team-leading 13th goal of the season, and Adam Thomas with his fifth goal of the season for the Timberwolves. So Doug Carter's men's soccer team continues their fantastic season. First time they've ever won an NCAA tournament match in that win against SVSU. Northwood now goes to the regional final, also known as the Sweet 16, against top-seeded Rockhurst. That game is in Kansas City, Missouri this Friday. The football team wrapped up their 2015 season with a road game at Malone. Leonard Haynes' team looking to finish the season with five GLIAC victories overall in the year. Let's see how Northwood did. We pick things up in the opening quarter. Northwood on their first drive of the game marches right down the field, and Bashan Nutt finds the end zone for this nine-yard TD. That puts Northwood on top 7-0 early. Northwood defense with a big play early on. Cody Noel finds the quarterback for a sack and a forced fumble. The Pioneers do recover, but a big play for the Northwood defense. Later on now, Northwood option left to Bryce Lindbergh. The senior will find the end zone from 19 yards out. That puts Northwood up 14-0 early on. Northwood defense continuing to make plays early on. Mike Keith comes up, big tackle for no gain for Malone. Later on, this is Malone once again driving, but Cameron England comes in, breaks up the play, no gain again for Malone. Northwood special teams coming through with some big plays in this game. First one here is from the punter, Scott McCormick, and a good job by the coverage team. They down the ball inside the two-yard line forcing Malone to go the length of the field, and a big play by the defense, a fumble forced, and a recovery by Andre Fills in the end zone. Touchdown Northwood, that puts Northwood up 21-0. Later on now, option right for the Timberwolves. Lindbergh hurtling defenders, he picks up 14 yards and a first down for the Timberwolves. Defensive end Charles Williams has had a big year for Northwood. He gets a tackle for loss here for the Timberwolves defense. Malone started to show signs of making a comeback, but this was one of the huge plays in the game. It's 21-14 after a Malone touchdown, and Vishon Nutt finds running room to the left. Almost takes it all the way back, but he ends up with an 88-yard kick return inside the Malone 10-yard line. Four plays later, 
Bergulio caps the drive with a touchdown that puts Northwood back on top, 28 to 14. Late in the game, Malone looking to tie the game. It's 28 21. Fourth and goal, David Barks with the pass breakup near the goal line, and the Timberwolves get the ball back. First play on the following drive, looking to run the clock out. Jared Bagulia with some nice moves to the outside. He picks up 20 yards. So Northwood picks up the 28-21 victory over Malone to finish the 2015 season. Mike Fisher finishes with 14 tackles for Northwood. Mike Keith with 10 tackles for the Timberwolves. And Vishon Nutt with that key 88-yard kickoff return that set up the touchdown for the Timberwolves. So congratulations to the football team on that great win at Malone. And also congratulations to Leonard Haynes. He was officially named the head coach of the Northwood football kick program, having the interim title removed. So a great day all around for Northwood football. The volleyball team finished up its 2015 season with a pair of home matches. Northwood took on Michigan Tech Friday night before facing Northern Michigan Saturday afternoon. Let's check out how the team did. Northwood opened their final weekend of the season with a thrilling 3-2 victory over Michigan Tech on Friday night. The Timberwolves trailed 2-1 before rallying back to win the final two sets and take the victory. Allison Getty had 21 kills and 16 digs for the Timberwolves, while Krista Kramer had 16 kills and 14 digs. Then on Saturday, Northwood fell 3-0 to Northern Michigan. The Wildcats took a closely contested first set and then won the last two sets easily to close out the year for the Timberwolves. Allison Getty led Northwood with seven kills in the match. So the volleyball team ends up with a 1-1 one one record on the final weekend of the season. They finished the year with eight conference victories this year. While we're wrapping up the fall sports season, the winter sports season is officially underway. Both the men's basketball and women's basketball teams got their seasons going with non-conference crossover tournaments on the road. Let's check out how the Timberwolves did. The women's basketball team opened their season with a 1-1 one one record at the GLIAC GLVC Challenge hosted by St. Joseph's University. Northwood opened the year with a 74-59 victory over St. Joe's. Jordan Nuremberg led the way for the Timberwolves with 20 points and 10 rebounds. Lauren Roback and Maddie Seedley finished with 18 and 14 points, respectively. Then on Saturday, the team dropped a 78-57 contest to number two ranked Lewis. Nuremberg with another big game, 19 points, 14 rebounds for the Timberwolves. The men's team opened their season with an 89-79 loss to number four Bellarmine in their version of the GLIAC GLVC crossover. The event was hosted by Bellarmine. Maurice Jones had 27 points, six assists, and five rebounds in the game against the Knights. Northwood bounced back the following day, however, and defeated St. Joe's 115 to 85. Dylan Lane Cable led the Timberwolves with 22 points. On Tuesday, Northwood defeated Calvin 101 to 94. The balanced Northwood offensive attack was led once again by Jones, who had 27 points, nine assists, and five rebounds. Freshman Zach Allred, a solid game in his home debut, 19 points, five rebounds for the Timberwolves. So both the men's and women's teams start the year with one and one records on the road. The men are now two and one after that victory over Calvin Tuesday night. Both teams have non-conference games coming up this weekend. Speaking of the upcoming schedule, let's take a look at what's coming up this week in Northwood Athletics. A light schedule of events this upcoming week for Northwood Athletics. The men's soccer team will play in the round of 16 against Rockhurst in the Midwest Regional Final Friday night at 8 o'clock. The winner of that game will advance to the Elite Eight match, which will take place Sunday. The women's basketball team will take on Indianapolis Saturday at home at 1 o'clock in the home opener for the Timberwolves. Saturday at 4.15 p.m., Cedarville will host the Northwood Timberwolves men's team. And then Tuesday at 7 p.m., Northwood's men's basketball team will host Lewis in a regional contest at the Bennett Center. So it will be the home opener for the women's basketball team this Saturday against Indianapolis at 1 o'clock. The first game at the Bennett Center featuring the new rules for women's basketball, four 10-minute quarters as opposed to two 20-minute halves. Our athletes of the week this week come from the men's soccer team and the women's basketball team. Our men's soccer athlete of the week was the key player in Northwood's NCAA tournament victory over Saginaw Valley State. And our women's athlete of the week is named the GLIAC North Division Player of the Week for her efforts down at St. Joe's. Let's take a look at our Athletes of the Week. Our Men's Athlete of the Week is Jack Smith from the men's soccer team, who earns the honor for the second time in the last three weeks. Jack was instrumental in Northwood's 3-1 victory over Saginaw Valley State in the second round of the NCAA tournament. He assisted on the opening goal of the game and then scored the eventual game winner in the second half moments after SVSU leveled the score. 
Our Women's Athlete of the Week is Jordan Nuremberg. She's the GLIAC North Division Player of the Week this week after averaging 19.5 points and 12 rebounds per game at the GLIAC GLVC crossover hosted by St. Joe's. Nuremberg shot 66.7% from the floor. So congratulations to Jordan and Jack for their honors. Well-deserved a couple of big weeks for those two student-athletes. That's going to do it for this week's edition of Timberwolves Weekly. Make sure you like us on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And don't forget to check out all of our YouTube videos. This is Travis McCurdy signing off. Keep fighting. Go mad.